Hey folks, so Meg asked um, how to get to Adobe Spark. Um, you all have free access to Adobe Spark through Kent. You don't have to use it, BTW. I just thought it might be fun to learn how to do and just to play around. Um, but there are other ways that you can, you know, yeah, there are other ways that you can do the homeworky thing. But here we go. So Adobe Spark. I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to type in Adobe Spark like that. Hit return. All right, so we're just going to go right here and I'm going to show you what this looks like. It better not just take me there and be so pissed. Okay, here we are. So you see this whole deal right here? So you see where it says teacher or student? You're going to do log in with your school account and then it's going to ask you for your Kent State email address. Um, so you'll put that in and then you might have to type in your password. I am all up on Adobe Spark all the time. Um, and then just go to, you can do whichever one you want. I always go to company or school account just because, uh, you know, what I'm doing is for uh, work. So, so yeah, like here is Adobe Spark. It's cool because in Adobe Spark, you can do some like templates. So part of the homework, I think, talks about potentially, um, you know, taking a quote and like making a fun graphic. So you could go, for instance, to this little Instagram posty type thing right here. And when it opens it up, it the neat thing about Adobe Spark is that it gives you these templates, right? So you could be like, oh, like I really love like this template right here. And you can hit create and it will make like a little, it just kind of like takes the, um, yeah, it takes this sort of template sort of thing and it's going to load and then you can just sort of like type in your quote and who wrote it and then boom, right? Um, then you're done, right? So and then so like, you know, like you could just like kind of go in here and, you know, be like, okay, I want to edit this and you'd be like, this is a quote or whatever. And then when you're done, you just go to download over here. Um, I'm going to pull this over so you can see it. You can go to download and then you, I think it's probably a good idea to download it as a PNG. It doesn't really matter if it's a JPEG or a PNG. The only difference is that with PNGs, you can still manipulate the image and with JPEGs, you can't. It don't matter. I just know that because I have to edit shit all the time because I make my own posters because, you know, I don't have a budget. I'm the queer to do queer stuff, so I have to do all my own shit, right? And so I might just sort of download a transparent PNG that just means that there's no background on it. And then it just downloads, and then it'll download to your desktop, and then you are done, my friends, and you can just sort of upload it to Tumblr that way. So hopefully that helps you know how to log into Adobe Spark and then how to potentially play with Adobe Spark. You could also just do whatever way you want. Like I was just suggesting that you could potentially use like Adobe Spark to like get your quote on. But yeah, that's it. I hope you all have an excellent, excellent weekend. Take care.